Hey, this is Eric from Venture Seekers. I'm going to start doing some edible plant videos for you guys. This, I'm primarily in Indiana, but we'll just say North America, Northwest. Right now, we just found a great find. We're finding a whole bunch of blackberry vines up to, it looks like, 10 to 12 feet high. Didn't even know we had this. Uh, they're growing primarily on some trees, but the trees in the background, which is another great find, are plum trees, Americana plum. And hopefully in a month or two they're going to start growing. But we're finding just thousands and thousands of blackberries everywhere. So I would say another two weeks, I'm going to be back out here and pick some more. And just right to this spot, to the left over here, we're finding some cactus. This is another good find. I wish I knew the name offhand. But we have some flowering cactus over here, which is a good thing. There's a lot of edible parts to it. I want to say one of them was flowers, but again, I need to check my guide on that. But yeah, we're finding some great finds. Mainly, we were just out here looking for uh, black raspberries, and we found some, but they're still kind of green. But uh, I didn't know I didn't know we had uh, the blackberries out here. So, and perfect. Another key note: I'm finding dewberries everywhere, and everyone talks about the dewberries being great, this and that. I found purple ones, and they are sour. So hopefully, there'll be a, a great treat for a, a pastry, a pie, something like that. But just by themselves they are not a great one so until then we'll i'll show you some other plants that we're finding What I originally was looking for, right all over here, brambles, usually everyone calls them. When the uh, actual flowers die off and they fruit up, we find raspberries, which is about the tastiest things out here. I know they're quite a bit smaller than the blackberries that we just found, but they are a lot better. Problem is right now, I came a little early. They probably have about two weeks to go, and then they'll start uh, blooming a lot more of these. But as you can see, there's a few black here and there. I'm picking them uh, sporadically. We're getting quite a few red, which is a good thing. But there's so many green ones out there. Just probably going to be another two weeks before I come out and pick some more. I uh, went through here earlier to get some berries, and I only got maybe two cupfuls. So I guess I'll be out here earlier, but, or uh, about two weeks. But right down here, I wanted to show you the other one, which is dewberry. I don't think I've taken any video of that. It's kind of right through here. It's a bigger berry. It's a uh, down that one. It is uh, blackberry's cousin. It's closer to the ground. Uh, a little bit more bitter than the blackberry. I guess they're great for pies. This and that. But off the off the actual little brambles, they're not the greatest. I mean, I want to say they call them moving roots or moving vines. Again, usually real close to the ground to eight inches long. It just depends. You know, these are climbing up the actual raspberry roots but you can tell there's a, a, ma or a major difference between the two. The dewberry is still much bigger than the raspberry. Uh, another thing I tried to do, <laughs> and I guess it's the wrong time, tried to pick some uh, pine cones. I know uh, I'm a big fan of actual pine nuts, which are the Korean uh, pine tree that everyone thinks of when you get into the grocery store. But you can actually use pine cones just from whites, reds, everything. Uh, just in your backyard so and I tried to pick those it was a bad <laughs> time for it I'll try a little bit in the fall but all the seeds have actually fell out of the cone so and sadly enough I can't pick anything uh, th they seem to be about 30 feet higher so I don't have a ladder with me but I'll be back for those also so until then see
We're going to do our last plant for the day. The sun's about to set here in about an hour, so I'll probably get one more plant in here. This one is uh, told to me by a local called the sassafras uh, tree or bush. And uh, it's been used a lot of times for teas, herbal medicines, oil, stuff like that. I haven't used it myself. Kind of interested in it. But uh, I'll show you some of the indicators. As you see here, the leaves, they can be different. A lot of times you'll find the three-pronged. But over here, of course, it's just one long strand of leaf. So one of the good indicators I like to do is just break it up a little bit. Give it a smell. Now what I smell is like a, a fruit loop smell, a fruity pebble smell. It's fruity, pretty much. That's a good indicator that you have a sassafras. What's the sassafras that I know of offhand, the only thing you can use is the, the root. It's going to flavor a lot of different things, so we'll go ahead and pull this out. The smaller, immature shrubs are the easier ones to pull out. Okay, now that we have the root out, I'm going to give it a quick bend. And what you want to smell here is root beer. Oh man, it's really fragrant. You can smell that a mile away. Very good stuff. Well, actually, long story on that one, back in the 1800s, Root beer, you know, that you drink all the time came from this stuff. They used this with a, a few different other spices. It made old sarsaparilla root beer. Nowadays, of course, everything went chemical, so you don't get that. It's too expensive to use. Uh, there is one really good brand, Virgil's. It's my favorite root beer in the whole world. It'll use sassafras. It'll use uh, vanilla, anise, wintergreen, stuff like that, all natural type of uh, plants. But it's amazing. It's a microbrewery. But anyways, back to the root again. It just smells like uh, root beer, and you know you have the sassafras. I don't know too much about it. I'm going to take it home and study it a little bit, but I know you can boil it down, get some of the, the uh, essence from there, or boil it into a tea. You're going to get sassafras tea. probably tastes fairly like a uh, root beer, I would assume. Uh, <laughs> earlier on, I grilled it, see if it did anything. It smells pretty well, but it's, it's like a root beer roasted. It didn't do anything to the shoots. Couldn't eat it or anything like that, but... I think that's it. That'll be my last plan, and hopefully, YouTubers, we're going to have quite a few more to do. You have a good one.